milk bottles are ideal for making folds. So what we need is a plastic milk bottle. So that's, what's that? Two pint bottle. Um, smaller ones or larger ones are fine. And we need uh, a plastic drinking straw. You could use a card straw or a wooden rod instead. An elastic band, some pieces of card, look a long narrow strip, which we need to fold over and stick together. And a rectangle of card, which uh, is ideal for a sail. So let's put things out of the way and deal with the bottle. Now, one of these little punches would be handy for punching a hole in a card and a pair of scissors. We're going to use that to cut card and um, for the bottle. Also, if you've got some sticky tape handy, that would be very useful. Right. What we need to do is cut along the plastic bottle. Now you can, if you want, take an indelible pen and then make a mark. So there's this little plastic ridge on this one I can see, which I've used as sort of a guideline. And then in the middle of there, that curved part, I could say, well, I'm going to go along there. So I need to try and sort of cut a line which goes all the way along and comes out there. And then similarly, if I look for a similar point on the other side, there's one there. And then there's a dip there, so there. That's the line I've got to try and cut through. So this will make two uh, boats. It's actually the, the hull of the boat, the, the actual shape of the boat, which sort of, you know, keeps the water out and um, people say displaces water. So it needs to be the correct shape. And it's got this sort of curved front part, which um, reminds me of the bow of a ship, the front end. So when you go to cut with a plastic milk bottle, we've got to be careful. The rule really is you should never cut scissors towards you yourself because you could um, slip and therefore cut yourself. So really we'll want to keep the hand that's holding the bottle further away. And what we're going to try and do is, so you don't have it right there just in case you slip, have it further away. And we'll want to try and cut through the plastic. Now the first part is very thick and so is the very end part. So you mustn't use too much force for this, even though you might want to. So what you do is use the, like a sliding action like that. And what you find is without much pressure, it gnaws its way through the thick part. And then it's nice and easy after that. There we go. So all I'm doing is pointing the scissors towards that mark there. So I'm going to try and do my best to make a straight line. Fingers out of the way. A little bit at a time. Coming to the hard bit now. So it's starting to get thicker now. So that little ridge that's in the middle, that's very troublesome. So same again though. Don't try and cut through it in one go. Just gnaw at it. There we are, we're nearly through. There, fantastic. And there's the mark on the other side. And we want to try and do the same again. Come to the thick bit again. Just a little at a time. out if you've crumbled it a bit just sort of straighten it back out two boards doesn't matter which one just go for this one fantastic all right now in order to make um, a sailing board we need the mast to stand up so it would be fa fabulous if we could make a support for it there are lots of different ways to do it. you get a big lump of plasticine if you wanted to and just stick it in after a while it would come away Here's quite a good way to do it because it lets you modify things later and um, once you see this once you could repeat it in different parts of the ship uh, the board in, uh, and make instead of just one mast you could have maybe three like an old galleon or something like that but all we need to do then take your long strip of card curl it all the way around like that so it overlaps then take some sticky tape stick it on and hold it like that 
And just to make it an extra strong look, if you were to take another piece of sticky tape and go inside where the overlap is, there we are. So now what we want to do is, we want to make a hole for the mast. We could pierce it through with a pencil, but here's a punch. Reach in, punch a hole, in goes the straw. Now at the moment, it would wander around all over the place, so the mast would never stay straight. So this is a little bit fiddly, but what we want to do is take some more tape and then put it on the end and then stick it down like that. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to take some more tape, pop it through on the inside, reach in, sticky tape it down, and then squeeze it all together so that the bottom end of the mast sticks nice and firmly. Don't bother putting tape on the top end, just leave that as it is. In it goes in the boat, and then in order to keep it still, stretch an elastic band around it. Fantastic, there it goes. And next, take the card sail, pop the card sail in position. But first, you have to make two more punch holes to slide the sail on. Find the middle of the sail, just by folding it in half. Punch, punch. Slide on the sail, curl it round, very simple milk bottle board completed.